With my hooker money still burning a hole in my pocket, Samantha and I showed up at Balzac. Meanwhile, Miranda, still off sex and on chocolate, couldn't bring herself to order the seven eclairs she really wanted. The next day at the hotel vasectomy, I had some questions for the man next to me. That afternoon, oh, wow. Samantha got very personal with her new trainer, oh, Thor. Wow. Samantha was still having sex when it dawned on me that Berger and I hadn't. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Miranda was facing a day at the polls a bit earlier than she expected. And speaking of little piece of shit parties, as Charlotte was starting to feel better, Miranda was starting to feel worse. And in an effort to stay out of the house and out of trouble, Samantha went shopping. While uptown, Charlotte was getting nothing at all. Meanwhile, Miranda had been waiting for the right place and the right way to tell Steve about the baby. Later that night, I was a guest at Keith's amazing house. He made sizzling scallops, and after dinner, things got even hotter. As Miranda and Steve continued needling each other on the playground, Dr. Mao was busy needling Charlotte in his office. Meanwhile, Samantha was experiencing the kind of intimacy that only came from true anonymity. And downtown at Marty Mendelssohn, some other people were experiencing a much more successful first kiss. Later that week, Miranda and I compared notes. Meanwhile, Samantha's professional relationship really started to take off. Two New Yorker magazines and two knit booties later, we all arrived at the understated Taj Mahal Casino. And downtown in the meatpacking district, another terrified man was preparing to face his fears. That night, the only thing Miranda and Steve could agree on was separate diaper bags. Several blocks south, Charlotte's night was interrupted as well by odd noises coming from her bathroom. On the east side, a pseudo-lesbian couple attended a right-wing Republican dinner party. Meanwhile, Samantha was about to have her own chance encounter. And across town, Miranda decided it was time to put on the gloves and come out swinging. Later that week, I had a meal with the perfect dinner accessory. Across town, Miranda and Steve decided instead of staying in, they'd go out. Downtown, Samantha was meeting with Mr. Wright. Mr. Richard Wright, that is. That night, Charlotte performed a more traditional wifely duty. While downtown, a dearly departed spirit suddenly reappeared. That night, we went all the way. No time to explain. No time to explain. No time to explain. Listen to me, I got no time to explain. There's no time to explain. There's no time to explain. There's no time to explain. You know, I really don't have time to explain. Shh. No time to explain.